Hello everyone, my name is Karuna Singh. Welcome to the channel Knowledge Star, continuous knowledge excellence. Today, we are conducting a panel discussion on the very, very important topic and the topic is trending these days too. So the topic is 5G next generation communication. For this, we have two panelists. The very first one is Professor Ganeshwar Mantri, Singer Institute of Technology, Pune, and Professor Devanath Bhattacharya, KL University, Vijayawada, India. Okay, so the topic of the discussion is 5G. All right, let's get started. The fifth generation mobile network is known as 5G. After the 1G, 2G, 3G, and 4G networks, there is now a new worldwide wireless standard that is 5G. With the help of 5G, a brand new network may be created that connects almost everyone and everything, including machines, objects, and devices. Now, I would like to invite Dr. Dhyaneshwar Mantri to share their views on the topic. Uh, thank you, Karuna. Actually, the topic selected by you is very good. Uh, right now, everyone is talking about the 5G, 6G network mobiles. And uh, whenever we talk something about the next generation networks, at that time, the communication comes to be into existence, the most important part. So what we expect from the 5G and what are the requirements of the 5G? This is the most uh, current topic of the Indian scenarios. Because still now, we are working on the 5G, which indicates that we are requiring anything at the fingertips. The meaning is that you are expecting anything, anywhere, anybody, and the anytime. So these four AAs are working. But whenever we talk something about that four A works, whether your infrastructure supports for that, at the same time, whenever we are moving towards the communication path, then at that time, the most important thing in the 5G and all these things that data is. Second part, if I talk something about the reliability. Third part, I can talk about the network adaptability. And then we can see about the throughputs. So if we have a channel modeling into that, or if you have a communication between the two devices, at that time, these four parameters, there are n number of parameters also, but these four parameters play the important role. Because everyone wants everything. But can we provide that? Is the first question. Now, Provision is that we need the bandwidth, we need the data rate. At the same time, we need the infrastructure. I'm focusing on the infrastructure because without infrastructure, 5G is not possible. Even though we are moving from the first generation, second generation, third generation, fourth, two, fifth, right now we are talking something about the sixth generation also. But will the compatibility happen between these networks is most important because right now what we are thinking is that we need to have a communication between device to device. We need to have a communication between machine to machine. We want to have a communication between machine to device, device to machines, then network to network, and all technologies are available. So in one case, I can say that during the 5G employment or whenever you want to go with the 5G, at that time, integration is most important. Or the integration of the access technology is required. And access technology may be anything, right? Because time is very short for us. We can talk many hours on this. But the glimpses indicate that you must have the integration and the convergence of the technologies. And we always have a habit of predicting something new. And we don't know that what to predict. So right now, for our cases, instead of talking something about the 6G, I can talk the 5G. It can be a one kind of imagination. Because the word itself says that technology is the word that describes something had to happen. And that is what the imagination is. And 5G can be working something on the imagination parts. Something, not, not much. 6G is actually talking something about the virtual or physical fiber systems. But whenever you go from the virtual processes, at that time, you will find that so many things are happening. But whether you are able to provide this all, so it is always important to know that whether our infrastructure supports for the requirements, whether our infrastructure supports for the technology, because we are right now talking something about the smart cities. 
what the smart city says to you it is one kind of application of 5g we can say where you want the smart communication where you want to have a good healthcare applications where you want to have the many things sitting at the home means anything anywhere anybody can be working and we are moving towards everything which is nothing but the basic requirements of this technology so i can say that there are five c's available if you focus on the 5g that may be considered as a collaboration most important part if you don't have the collaborations the things may not happen second part if we talk something about the cooperation that is again required next thing is that the contents because we are totally related with the contents every day we are talking something about the new conditions you Absolutely. are having the whatsapp messages yes you are using my whatsapp messages you are using the mms or mms you are using video clipping you are using communication you are using then shorts reel videos we are taking and we are punching but in the same time the content is also important and in what context you are generating because right now the bandwidth is not the issue we are considering data rate is not the issue we are considering but to move from one to another part it is always important to have a support of technology and right now you might be knowing about the 5g and all these things everybody talks about the integration of what it may be the ict information communication technology which includes everything second part iot which can be a buzzword we can talk but if we think about the iot again embedded intelligence is required and if you have a integration of the embedded intelligence along with the network support then we can communicate cloud computing is one of the area data science is can we use we can integrate the cloud computing ai and this all our convergence can be done for getting about the things right now one more important concept is coming regarding the 5g if we consider about 5g applications human bond communication that means whenever we are talking everything means we must know about the human bond communication so what the human bond communication indicates human bond communication is nothing but the five senses you are using one sense may be your touch one sense may be your because these are the five senses we are having on our face but we don't know about this we are not analyzing this informations and we can say that the ai can be used for the purpose of this sure yes. we can use is it not so test we cannot do smell we are not analyzed then sound yes somewhat we did did work on this visualization yes we are doing something so right now human bond communication can be a part of 5g because what i am talking is regarding application basis but if you talk something about the parameter basis then in that case we can have another concept kona sense communication navigation sensing services where the sensor networks are playing ultimately what we expect is we expect communication of what required things absolutely absolutely we require extra things here that is why i can say that technology is the word that describes something but it to happen which is nothing but the imagination and ultimately we want a perfect communication right yeah yeah and yeah. to have a perfect communication we are in need of network yeah and one more thing i want to add into this is that whenever we are working on a next generation network then in that case we must think about the knowledge is because the very good quote done by the albert einstein what it says imagination is more important than knowledge knowledge is limited but imagination enriches the world absolutely this tagline this right. tagline can be this tagline can be helpful for the 5g because we are imagining something by sitting at my place i am talking with you this is one kind of application of technology only or they not sir may give the again more things on inside on this but what i expect is that 5g is not only the generation but the 5g has given many more things for us and that things are real that means technology is the word you name it and you will have it this may be 5g this is what my opinion about the 5g is okay sir uh, i would like to stop you over here now uh, yeah. i would like to invite dr devinath bhattacharya ji and uh, i just want that he should share their views on the given topic that is 5g so uh, first of all thank you karuna uh, for 
inviting me to join this discussion. And Dr. Mantri, uh, really happy to meet you in this forum. And uh, thank you, sir. Nice to meet you because uh, I yeah. was in Pune for one year in Bharati Okay. Bikapit. At that time, okay. I heard about Institute name also because yeah. uh, I had the opportunity to work with some people. Actually, the product of your institute. Anyway, so so I can in, so sir, I can say I can call Corona and you. We can have a physical discussion on this topic. Uh, it is uh, two thousand. Why not? Why not? Why not? I really want to because meet you people, and I really want you people to come. At my place, and we will have a great discussion on the on this topic because this topic is really, really very important. Yeah, sure, sure. Why not? Why not? So, what Karuna asks, I'm entering into the point. So, what I understand, as per my understanding, as per my knowledge, and what uh, I have gone through with the five G, is already government decided to implement this in India, and from December it will be working in all the places. Mainly in the metro cities, so uh, it is nothing but the uh, it is a global wireless standard. The standard they are maintaining for 5G, and it enable new kind of network that is designed to connect virtually everyone. What Doctor Mantri told, so in a one line, it is virtually with everyone. For that, it is designed, and that is the version 5G they are telling. Before that, many things were there. So everything means, or everyone means, together, including machines, objects, and devices. That is the main what I understand. That means everything, everywhere, everybody. So what actually they are telling in their standard? That is virtually everyone, and everything together, including machines, objects, and devices. Even from car, I can track. Where is my nearest petrol pump? Look at it. So that one example I'm giving you. From driving by the car, I can easily. So Pune to Mumbai, it is a very nice road. I had a very nice experience to travel many times. So I can look at where the nearest coffee shop is. At. Okay. So that is basically virtually with everyone, everything together, including machines, objects, and devices. That is my understanding, and it is written in the version also. Like every software version, I can remember in 90s when the Oracle 9 is available under Unix, but it was waiting for the operating system upgradation. Oracle is ready for the Unix, but it is waiting for the version upgradation because at that time OS release 5 was there. But Unix was seven, they are waiting. So they waited for one year for that. I can remember because at that time I was the uh, database administrator in TCS. I can remember those days. So, like that, the version is available. And what Dr. Mantri rightly said in different way that is, 5G is ready, but we are ready with the infrastructure. On. So, uh, that is actually, it took me to 90s. The operating system was ready, oh, sorry, the Oracle database is ready for Unix, but whether the operating system infrastructure was ready or not. But before that, Oracle 9 I implement a, a available in the market under Windows 95. So these days were gone, we have seen that. So that I am going back to that day, so because of this discussion. So 5G uh, wireless technology is meant to deliver higher multi-GBPS peak data speeds. So that means on the time of speed, it will be better than the earlier versions. Like any software new versions, it will have some advantages by keeping all the advantages earlier versions. And new advantages will be there. So 5G is not out of that. So what, and what advantage? It will give the peak data speed, ultra low latency, which is in 4G it is not available. 4G maybe uh, two years back, uh, it came into the market, and one and a half year back, it was fully uh, used by the 4G we are using. More reliable we will get. All these are in the dictionary term, reliable in what sense? What is the reliability? So what is the network security and reliability? So those will come. Massive network capacity, that means the uh, bandwidth we are using, 
the capacity of the network will be more increased availability so everything will be available whatever available in the current network will be it will be more and the more uniform user experience to more users so how you are experienced with the 5g with the 4g you can easily distinguish between these two and high performance and improved efficiency that will empower new user experience so we'll get the experience let it come we'll get experience we'll connect to the industries we'll come into the picture then we can give our experience we can share our experience but these are the thing that is available in the they are actually confirming the 5g will be multi gbps thick data speed that actually we need the market is like that and it is industry oriented so industry to industry what dr mantri told hospital system healthcare system so industry to industry it will work so manufacturing medicine manufacturing industry and the healthcare industry they can communicate with each other and it will be a high performance or high data peak speed will must have to reach there and every time it will be virtual definitely because my resource i don't want to share with anybody so these are the thing and uh, if it is clear i can go to the history of the actually first generation dr mantri told so generation so first generation it was 1980s if i am not wrong and it was normally uh, as an analog bias if i am not wrong second generation early 90s it is basically digital bias and we use cdm cdm means code division multiple access so it is upgraded from 1g 2g is upgraded now third generation 3g we said that is early 2000 and that is 3g brought mobile data so from 2000 onward so mobile data we started using maybe in some different way but we are using that is cdm 2000 we normally know that then fourth generation ten that is fourth generation lte now many software available in the market you would to also lte that is lightweight so in 2010 now see that third to fourth we traveled almost 10 years to reach there and there we started the era of mobile broadband that means we are upgraded from 3g to 4g so one and now 5g is there what i discussed few minutes back that is upgraded of 4g and that is now available in 20s so uh, these are the various upgrades so 5g is significantly faster than 4g definitely it will be accepted as per the dr monty's discussion and 5g has more capacity than 4g that is i want 5g has significantly lower latency that definitely i want more secure 5g is a unified platform that is what platform ios or android or microsoft or unix forget about it it is platform unified platform and 5g use spectrum better than 4g so these are our expectations and on that if i am not wrong uh, here europe is much more ahead than the us that is the university of sare already introduced one course master course in 5g and its future rather what dr mantri told 6g they use the term 6g or 5g and advanced so they introduced two years master course only for on that that is research oriented so in my understanding more research is required and more infrastructure development is required to get the full advantage of the available 5g for more updates subscribe to our channel click the links shown on the screen to stay connected Uh, uh, definitely, sir, you have given the insight.
but what i was saying is that you are moving from one generation second generation third generations we are moving from the cellular towards the analog towards the digital towards the virtual and virtual to personalization this is what industry 1.0 we can say 2.0 3.0 4.0 and 5.0 that means here whenever we are having something new at that time in the beginning case we are working with the manual things everything was manual that is called mechanization then technology advances and electrification has been added into that this is industry 2.0 uh, around 19 uh, 1870 and then when we entered into the third industry 3.0 where we are doing the automation where plcs machines are uh, working at that time we were not there but our old people were work on that from the uh, personalization the manual to automation to the logics and then the fourth era came as a digitalization era from where we have started to send the pictures mms and all these things we are starting this is what the integration of the iot and all these things now whenever the iot world came at that time processor also came internet also came plc is also available there ict was also available there and then the 5g has taken over all this thing and right now 6g and 5g combination because there is a drastic variation in the uh, infrastructure requirements thousands of users may be connected in the 6g once at a time at the reliability at the reliability of thousands or at the reliability of uh, or at the latency of 0.1 milliseconds this latency requirement goes on reducing infrastructure requirement goes on increasing and definitely india is taking reliance jo has already implemented this 5g testbed right now and many iits are working on this testbed it is already available there so in near future you will get the mobile phones of the same we can connect for that and one thing i want to add into this is the human machine communications that is called a personalization that is uh, cyber physical uh, systems where whatever uh, devnath ji said that we are talking something about the uh, security purposes we are talking something about the another things so right now is the era of working with the machine together and for that definitely speed matters so i in one line i can say seamless combination of embedded intelligence then the ubiquitous networks which has a better connectivity which has a deep analytical insights creates unique and disruptive values which are most important in the development of 5g because if you talk something about the 6g then in that case we are always moving towards the imagination we have to think i want to do this thing just like i am in aeroplane but i want to see something at the bottom can i see that can i connect that this is what my imagination is everything is possible but definitely the first component we need to think is the infrastructure and infrastructure is not only related with that but it is again related with the cost factor also which plays important role then service providers how we can work on that whether you are providing the services person to person whether you are prov- uh, providing services from the service provider to service provider then what is the downline for that that needs to be taken care because supply chain management is one of the key element in the integration of all the technologies together and working together so if you want to get the speed if you want to get the values if you want to get the uh, capacities if you want to get all things are required for the 5g implementations because definitely 5g is giving many more applications just i said you name it and you will have it so accordingly 5g is certainly important but at the same time we are talking about only the advantages we must talk something about the disadvantages also absolutely absolutely because we only talk about the advantages of 5g but at the same time if there if 5g has advantages then definitely it has the disadvantages too so what will you say about the disadvantages of, of 5g See, the first thing is that the first thing is that as the technology grows the radiation goes on increasing the most important part and daily we are uh, listening from the news we are uh, looking to the news that because of the brain tumor age because of the heart attack all things are happening why we are doing just i am taking this mobile phone i am keeping mobile phone in my pocket and the radiation is happening because there are so many sensors available inside the phones exactly we are we are working on the multi data base we are working on the multi data race and in this multi data race there are always emissions happening so the most disadvantage is the radiation happening from the mimos 
that is to be implemented into this. Multi antennas are available in the mobile phones. And because of that, there are so many mental diseases are also happening. This is the first case. Second thing is that you are more habitual about this all. Instead of using the technology for the betterment, we are using the technology for the disruption. Definitely, we want many more things. So I can say that the technology supports in the 70% positive, same way 30 to 40% negative also. And we are just talking about the speed of technology day by day. Now, even though you might have seen that if child is not getting food, at that time, her or his mom is giving mobile phone by playing the games. It was added to them. Previously, what were happening? Yes, you take this food, get it, good food, quality food, everything. Means to survive ourselves, what food we require, that is coming by the technology. So mentally, what I want to say is that whenever we are talking something about the disadvantage, at that time, during the disadvantages part, we must think about our human lives also. And that means the most important critical parameter. This can be one parameter. There are so many parameters, advantages, disadvantages. Yesterday only I was listening about the news, social media news. But in that news also, due to the MMS or due to the some picture clips, someone has lost life. This is the disadvantage. Uh, previously, whenever, as, as the Devnath uh, said, Dr. Devnath said, he, it was SMS in one generation, it was okay. In second generation, we move towards the MMS. In third generation, we move towards the pictures. In fourth generation, we are downloading complete pictures as a IoT internet. And now in the fifth generation, what will happen, can't imagine. So definitely one parameter, we must, every must think life is precious. Use of technology is important, but to a limited ways. Absolutely. Now, uh, Dr. Bhattacharya, this is what my opinion is. Yes. Now, I would like to invite Dr. Bhattacharya to say something about the disadvantages of 5G. So, I will always think from technological point of view. So, regarding health, <coughs> mental situation, all this medical term, I don't understand much. And 5G implemented as per the standard of the network. So, I don't want to discuss much on this. Uh, even we have many discussion in Times of India also it came with the use of mobile system, mobile uh, device also, with us carrying over what are the different disadvantages, cancer as this, that's so many things, but how not still we are using, everybody using. So my mother also using. Anyway, so broadly I can say it will be more what I understand, that is it will be uh, it will increase the risk of hacking. Thus, impairing the cyber security. So, moreover, lack of encryption during the connection process also makes the devices using 5G technology an easier target for the cyber and data flow. So, that is, uh, I understand. Normally, 5G is used across three main types of connected services, uh, technically. That is, including mobile broadband, enhanced mobile broadband, and note the term, mission critical communications and the massive IoT. So definitely the security issues will come. That is the main disadvantage of the uh, 5G and beyond of that. So more security needed, definitely people will work on that and more cyber crime also will come through 5G. That is obvious. They also have some uh, thinking on that. The standard also explained that in their white paper. So this is the main disadvantage for as per my understanding. All right. So uh, 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 surely, have... uh, Karuna, just one thing. Yes. Surely whatever Dr. Devnath said is correct, even though it has been implemented by the standards, but standards can be devised time to time, can be moderated time to time, depending upon the uh, surveys. According to standard, without the permissions, we cannot implement that. We cannot sell it out in the market, every product, but this is not recorded anyway. Someone should record this. Someone should get the uh, actual uh, physical conditions to be happening. Or the actual survey needs to be. So according to standards are modified. That is why we are going from 11, uh, 0.11 to so many standards ahead. LTE, WCDA or whatever standards we are using, 4G, IMT, uh, so many standards, IMT standards are available. 3GPP is there again. So I am now going about the standards. This, I was talking something about what the common man feed or must feed. Usage is important, definitely, but usage can be limited for the survival purpose. 
yes this is what i want to comment yeah, so one more one more technical thing i learned the disadvantage that is uh, it is also a part of research i am always focusing on those part so it will waste your more battery power so the power of the battery or the battery technology also has to be enhanced there is also another technical disadvantage i am always concentrating on technical disadvantages and what are the and what are the improvement is required with the allied industries that i am thinking right 100% 100% okay. without battery we cannot in in this current world three things are important first thing is internet second thing is power and third thing because without power we cannot come and media of communication without battery you cannot operate without internet you cannot connect and if you are not connected you are not able to communicate so anywhere these three things are always required power is most important without power we cannot run without internet we cannot connect so these are the important things definitely and talking something about the research if you take a small part you will have a n number of solutions you will have n number of problems and that integrating together is the work of industry right now doing that is what we in industry 5.0 yes absolutely so uh, as we have the shortage of time so i will have to stop over here thank you very very much dr mantri and dr bhattacharya for sharing your valuable points and uh, seriously we will have more 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 discussions with you people and uh, thank you very much thanks a lot and for these uh, thank time you corona uh, thank you corona for giving the opportunity for us to talk with you at the same time a topic is very big but discussion Absolutely. is very short yeah <laughs> only a just glimpse yes just only a glimpse so you can uh, think about this we can have a discussion also so thank yes. you very much for the yes. invite thank you mantri we will be having more discussions with you in the future and with dr bhattacharya too in the future so thank you so much thank you for this wonderful session i hope people have liked this video and uh, for these type of in interesting informative educational videos subscribe to the channel knowledge star and hit the bell icon to never miss an update thank you so much thank you everyone thanks a lot thank you thanks a lot okay so apart from this uh, thank you so thank you for this wonderful interaction what i will do i'll edit this video and we will uh, upload this whole session on our youtube channel so what we want we